I thought uh, the group that I received the medal with were really amazing people. And I think it made me very proud to be an American because I think that Americans are outstanding in the way they do, you know, contribute and the way they do volunteer and the way they do help each other. Uh, I've never seen a country like it, and it's something to be very proud of. But my parents felt very strongly, uh, my mother in particular, for, for if you have a happy home, as much is given, much is expected. And she made us very conscious that we were very lucky to have a big family that got along and that, uh, that we, should, we had a payback time and that we should think about what we're going to do to help others. And uh, we absolutely accepted that as, as certainly fair enough. Well, I suppose in the beginning, uh, perhaps because of my sister, who was uh, uh, intellectually challenged growing up, she was um, great fun. She was very close to all of us. Uh, she was very much a part of the family. My parents were very strict about that. Uh, there was very little in those days for children. Uh, you know, very little educational opportunities, sports opportunities, any real opportunities. So she did a lot of her studying at home or playing with us. And she played tennis very well. I used to play with her. And she was very much a part of our family. So, so we, had, we all grew up to thinking that um, this, these, you know, the, she was wonderful and that we should try and help other children who may be going through the same thing. My particular interest is the arts because I think it's a very um, self-affirming and that people all have their vision and it takes you anywhere. I think all people are creative, and I think uh, that it would be too bad to lose a very creative group of people who have, may have or may not uh, some form of disability. And so we have to open the doors for them as well. And very often they're kept away because they can't get to a place. And uh, I remember years ago, Itzhak Perlman told me <coughs> that he had tremendous trouble getting to his violin lessons because there was no transportation then for people with a handicap. So um, we've come a long way since then, but we still have ways to go. And I think uh, physical barriers or any kind of social barriers or anything have to come down because uh, people are all creative in their own way and it adds value to our world, to our society, and to our world. And that's what I've tried to do. But there's uh, lots of opportunities out there and there's lots of people who need help but also, there's lots of interesting opportunities. It's, uh, and I think you have to look around and make choices, uh, sometimes difficult ones, but easier as you make them. And I think in, stick with it, hang in there, and uh, I think you'll have a very good time and a very good life.